Hey, the Avengers Infinity final trailer has just dropped. They're calling it trailer two, but I think this will be the last trailer before the movie actually comes out. It's coming out on the 27th and we're sitting on, uh, well, it's the 17th now that I'm watching it. I think it came out yesterday, but I was really busy. I uh, haven't had the chance to watch it. I am excited. Let's have a look. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. We have what Thanos wants, so that's what we'll use. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Wow. still exist. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. I hope they remember you. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Uh, that's a lot to take in. That's a good trailer, much like most Marvel trailers. Um, it's dark, as expected. Lots of Thanos in it. I do think there is perhaps way too much exposition in the trailer for my taste. And they do that a lot nowadays. I mean, they did that in for Spider-Man Homecoming movie. They did it for Ragnarok. Um, just an aside, like if they hadn't shown the Hulk intro scene from Ragnarok in the trailer, that intro scene in the movie would have been a lot more fun. Even though you knew Hulk was going to be in it, but it was how he was introduced. And, you know, we, we could have gotten a few extra laughs just like that. Anyway, getting back to this. There's a lot of information about, like, Infinity Stones. And there are six of them, and Vision has one, and Loki's got one. I don't know what. And, yes, Thanos needs to collect them all in order for him to be, like, you know, omnipotent or something like that for him to be able to destroy the world. He's already pretty powerful. Um, the opening shots show like something coming down to Earth. I'm guessing that is Thanos arriving. It also has Gamora talking. I have to watch it a couple more times, but it also has Gamora talking. Um, and then later there's, there's that clip with uh, Thanos' big hand being held by a little green hand. I'm guessing that's a kind of flashback sequence maybe with Gamora. A couple of jokes in this, probably not gonna be as funny as Ragnarok or Homecoming. Um, but I don't think it'll be as blah as uh, Age of Ultron, which I thought was kind of, oh, okay. Like the first Avengers was great, and the second one was Civil War, which was almost in Avengers, was good. This one I'm hoping will be really good. Everyone's in it. This is a lot of time you, you, I see like Captain America in Wakanda. Uh, they've shown plenty of the Guardians. 
um, they probably would have to just to bring in Gamora. I did see Groot. I saw Rocket. I saw Winter Soldier. I did not see the Hulk in this trailer. They have shown him in the other trailers. I did not see him. Did we see... We saw Scarlet Witch and Vision. But did we see Black Widow and Hawkeye? Probably not. I think... I, I don't know. Maybe I missed them. A um, couple of jokes were kind of nice. I think the, the Spider-Man... Uh, Doctor Strange exchange at the end is kind of funny. Um, let's see, what have we got? Uh, we've got Thanos, we've got Iron Man. See, I, just a quick thing. Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and maybe Doctor Strange. Surely dying. Definitely they're going to die. There's no way they're going to make it past this movie like... It's not possible. I, at least I don't think so. I think they're going to die and we need them to die. I'm also hoping that there's a Captain Marvel reveal in this one. I don't know. There's no news on that. There might be. They did mention, um, I did read somewhere that uh, if you kind of zoom in on the poster, Peter Dinklage is credited in the cast. Um, he's from Game of Thrones. Um... He was in another Marvel movie, because he was in one of the, um, the X-Men movies, wasn't he? It was First Class, or Days of the Future Past. I don't remember. I think it was First Class. I think it was. Um, and he was in that, so he's kind of a... There's no way he's playing the same character, but what is he playing? No, I don't know. At least I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. Uh, Josh Brolin looks amazing as Thanos, especially with the helmet. It's just really cool. Um, he's crushing Thor's head. Thor is gonna die. Thor is definitely dying. Um, there's that scene with um, Loki and what seems like his band of misfits. I don't know who they are. I'm gonna have to do some reading. Star Lord looks great. And then there's that part. You have to, all those things like going to Doctor Strange. Like he's probably gonna die too. Who knows? Uh, that's a lot of pain to be put through. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know. Like, I'll put him up on the screen. I, I don't know who that is. Um, I mean, he looks like... Is that Voldemort? It's probably not. And in the end, we've got, like, Captain America... Trying to fight off Thanos. Like, physically fight him off. Look... Trailer looks great as usual. I can't wait for the movie anyway. I, I really I can't wait for it. I'm quite excited. Um, they haven't shown Spider-Man's new suit, have they? I'm not sure. But anyway, this comes out on April 27th. Um, that's just over a month away. So I guess the next time I talk about this movie is when I actually go out and watch it. And I'll let you know how it goes. See you around.